It's a view that one yeah. of the things you also need to do uh, that the NPP has somehow managed to infiltrate your ranks okay. to the point where they now are able to control some of the outcomes, even within the NDC. Mm -hmm. uh, is there something that you're concerned about or something that you believe it's exaggerated or doesn't exist? Okay. And how do you want to tackle it? Okay, you know, uh, it's always the case that uh, as you run for, 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 par, for, for, for elections, uh, your opponents also want to do whatever they can, and one of it is to see whether they can infiltrate your ranks. Mm -hmm. But you know, I've always believed in one thing, that uh, those who really do the decision, those who take the ultimate decision are the masses. I mean, those you call the millions of supporters that you have. They more than anyone. So the leadership is important, but the voice and the will of the, of the, of the, of the, of the team and supporters of the party and those who are sympathizing, who want to change, for example, will be the much more important thing. Now, if there's anybody who is even, uh, what you call a mole within, that person clearly is going to be in danger. Because with the kind of leadership we have at the moment, if you are a mole, you are soon going to be in trouble you definitely are going to be in trouble. So to be honest, it's something I will not, I will not underplay. I will not, I will not think it's unimportant. But I will say that the collective will of those of us who want the right thing to be done and supported by the million of the supporters is going to make sure, even if you're an infiltrator for the MPP, uh, you're going to what be in trouble. What you just said, there must send shivers down the spine of most in your party. You say you, you're going to be found out very soon because uh, of absolutely. the current crop you have. Absolutely. Th this absolutely. Is, this I mean, my, my, my own belief is that with the suffering the people of Ghana are going through, I mean, with the, we, I mean, you. I don't want to go into the details of the economy, but if you see this kind of, the kind of, I mean, massive suffering. I mean, the kind of suffering hardship that is going through. If you can still see all that, and because of your stomach, you decide to be a mole to stop the change that is absolutely important for the millions of people. You are going to have a lot of curses on you, and that curse is not even coming from me. Even the suffering of the people alone will be the curse that you carry, and that curse can actually affect you and affect generations to come. So, if you are one of those, I think you better be thinking again. Like